Hi, welcome to Beer Engineers. Mehmet, I've got a, another beer to review for you. So, sound the offy, having a look, seen, grab a few beers to for this evening, and I spotted some a beer that I haven't had before, but I've heard of. It's a uh, Rodenback. It's a Belgian beer. Now, I'm pretty sure these are sour beers I did do. I think that's what I've heard of in Rodenback. I'm pretty sure they're like one of these really, really old Belgian breweries, you know, been around for God knows how long, hundreds of years probably. There's a say in the back. If it does, I'm not reading it because the writing's too small. <laughs> I haven't got my glasses on. So, well, so I thought I'd grab this, I grabbed this and another one. There's two of them there, so I thought I'd give them a go. One at a time though. So what's the percentage of this? It's a, it's a Flanders Red Ale, coming at 5.2%. Actually expected it to be a lot stronger than that. I didn't actually look at any details and I just grabbed it and ran well paid for it <laughs> grabbed it paid for it and then ran um okay interesting I know very little about this I know I know these guys do sours I don't even know if this is a sour it's a red ale so obligatory chalice glass it was Belgian So, looks like there's a bit of carbonation in there. Sort of tan, creamy head. It's it's like a oh, it's a bit of de uh, well, there's sediment in there anyway. I'm not sure what you're supposed to be. Maybe a poured it wrong. I didn't think about that. Ah, sure, won't hurt me. Um, nose on it. Yeah, it's a sour. You can get that sort of slight sort of sharpness. I don't know. It's almost like it reminds you slightly of a vinegary taste a little bit. There's, what's in that? It's like cherry or, I don't know, it's cherry or... <laughs> cherry or berries. One or the other. Right. Oh, dog going off in the background. I'm going to pause this and put the dog away. Back in a sec. Doggy sorted. Right, back to this. Okay. So, that's really a bit sort of berries. You can smell it's a sour to that sort of slight. It almost, it kind of tastes like it's kind of gone off, really. Or smells like it's kind of gone off. I know if I get that smell from a beer and brew, and I'm not a happy man. So, anyway, let's see what it tastes like. Hmm. So, as sours go, it's not that sour. It's I've been getting myself used to the I'm trying to get into sours recently because it's a it's a beer I've never really liked or appreciated. Sours mainly because they're mostly sort of a lot of them are kind of fruity, which I up until the last couple of years I haven't really been interested in fruit in my beer. But nonetheless, there's a reason they make fruit and beer. A Belgian been doing it. They know what they're doing for quite a long time. Um, so it's another aspect of beer I wanted to get into, and I'm getting to like it now. So I find like sours are, they're almost like moorish. They become moorish once you get into it. It's it's it becomes like moorish. I find anyway, um, like highly quaffable. You wouldn't. I'm not sure if quaffable is the right word, but they are. So you've got this sort of sharpness that blends very well with the, I'm trying to think what that is, it's berry or cherry type fruits. I'm not, I can't really pick out a certain, oh yeah, it's nice though. It's like you wouldn't, the sourness is quite refreshing, I find with them. Yeah, that's all right. That's not bad. As far as sours go, that's a good one. Um, yeah, I like that. Um, I'm going to give that a... Oh, 
I was going to seven. I'm going to give it a six and a half, seven. It it, it really depends on whether you like sours now, because sours are very much a like it or lump it type thing. Um, you either like them and you're into them, or you hate them. I used to be into hate them, but now I'm into like them. So that was Rodenback Classic, uh, Flanders Red Ale. Nice. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.